Hi, Bonnie Rivera here with Pray House Gifts. And today we're going to talk a little bit about healing. We actually have so many verses on healing that we have two sets of affirmation cards. If you can see that, affirmation set one on healing and affirmation set two on healing. I see, oh, it kind of gets whited out there. So you're just going to have to take my word for it that these are on healing um, on our website. So there's so many verses on healing. And if there's so many verses on healing, why aren't we all getting healed? That's an excellent question and one I've asked God myself. And the thing that I noticed also as I was going through these verses is many times there seems to be a correlation between sin, which is just separation from God, our healer, and sickness. Um, and the healing doesn't really begin to happen until the sin is forgiven and the relationship with God is restored. Um, and we see this, we see Jesus forgiving sins before he heals in Matthew 9. Um, and that shows how willing Jesus is both to heal and to forgive and how easy it is for him to do both. Now, there are several good books that um, talk about the correlation between sin and sickness, spiritual roots of disease, that kind of a thing. Um, one of them is called Exposing the Spiritual Roots of Disease by Dr. Henry Wright. Um, he, it's an excellent book. Um, another book is Receiving Healing from the Courts of Heaven, Removing the Hindrances that Delay or Deny Healing. And this one um, is by, I believe, Robert Henderson, and I'll have to get the name. But both of those books will talk about anything that might be blocking. But we do see from when Jesus healed that sometimes there was something that had to be removed before his healing um, would take place. The third thing I notice is that faith is a factor in our healing. We have to believe that God can heal, that he wants to heal. And Hebrews 11, 6 tells us that without faith, it's impossible to please God. We have to believe he exists, and for healing, we have to believe that he can and wants to heal us. The fourth thing I noticed about healing is the number of times it says, Jesus healed them all. There's so many verses on that in Matthew 8, Matthew 14, Matthew 19. Um, it just goes on and on. Jesus healed them all. He wants people to be healed. He wants to make sure everybody is well. He came to overturn the works of the devil. And when he did that, he healed people. So we can assume that God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He wanted to heal back then. He wants to heal now. So again, I would highly recommend um, if you've had a delay in your healing, checking the books, exposing the spiritual roots of disease, and receiving healing from the courts of heaven. I hope this helps. I hope you are well soon. I hope you can pass your affirmation cards on to someone else with the information that you've learned. Thank you.